What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Everton Football Manager 2022 Rebuild Series. Leave a thumbs up if you've been enjoying it. And more games we have played through. You know the last episode, Youth Intake Plus. Uh, we played West Ham in the FA Cup. You know we advanced through that. And then we kept up somewhat reasonable form. I don't know what to call this period because um, some close games there against Norwich and Brighton. Uh, then we went to lose against Liverpool away, which is probably the trickiest game of the season, maybe on par with, <laughs> yeah, like Manchester City, Manchester United away from home uh, in FM, most definitely. Uh, but the semi-finals was close. It took us uh, took us penalties. Uh, you get more of a look here. Yeah, you just look over to the left side. Uh, they got a red card in that extra time period, Ruggeri, but we were solid in front of goal and didn't miss a penalty it was a really responsible job and I felt like we would have kept scoring penalties we wouldn't have missed I guess it's easy to say when yeah you didn't miss one but yeah it was a year a year to um yeah unfortunately for them be the crucial thing or no the crucial thing was yeah us not mini missing one at the same time yeah we didn't miss one and yeah that was really good but then we had we knew it was going to be tricky because look in this period you point out Liverpool Arsenal Man, and keep in mind, Man United, Man City, two Manchester clubs, even though they were home games, we got one point from the two of them. It was just so tricky to together. And we got Manchester City in the FA Cup final. So <laughs> we showed, like, I'm going to give myself the chance. We showed we can hold off from them kind of killing us, at least on the scoreboard. They got an early goal in the third minute. And, yeah, I don't know. It's probably, again, one of the hardest teams we probably could yeah, step up against. So, yeah, I'm we're going to give a review of this season and think what we do going forward, depending, yeah, how it plays out. Because also we got Crystal Palace, which is an important league game. I was going to, yeah, I was going to maybe play this or not on camera, depending if it's important or not. But um, it's kind, it's a little bit important, isn't it? It, it, it kind of is. Anything could happen. We could stay where we are, go up to fourth. <laughs> we could drop out. It's going to be in. It's gonna be a really interesting final Premier League day. So, yeah, we're going to play two games in this one. So, we'll get straight into it. And actually, Crystal Palace ninth. That's not a, yeah, not a bad season for them. So, but we've been solid again. If it just goes to plan, uh, Larin as well. He's, like, his transfer has gone through Watford, 10 million. Uh, but unfortunately, he's been injured. So, oh, he picked up an injury, so we're not going to use him. Yeah, we're just mixing up a few things there. Keane probably going to leave as well. We just, we're going to add one more. Maybe put Cresswell on the bench against someone who have not, yeah, we're just a whole lot of defenders, man. And Ted Humphrey is probably, yeah, one of the brightest talents. Chuck him on the bench. He'd actually, yeah, especially physically, the balance acceleration. Yeah, he's starting to look all right. And actually, Alan, we want to keep him, yeah, he's two days. Two days just recovering. This is where, yeah, Lewis Cook drops back there. Then Alan. Yeah, bring Smith Rowe there. Be a playmaker type. Then Alan drop out. Bring Jovic in. Quite a few rotations. Then Alan out. Then Cronin, who is one of those other young talents. And we can get rid of under-18 squad there because it starts to look huge. But, yep. Uh, to give you, guys, give you guys a reminder, um, yeah, he had the high determination. Really good tackling of 16 Irish 15-year-olds. So... Yeah, I think that's how we get into the match today. It's a big game against Palace. Let's get into it. Uh, Cronin, if he gets a go, we might just place him in like a number 25 for now. Fairly low. Solskjaer is the manager of them too. Oli. Okay. They're talking about the Conference League. So, yeah, no, yeah, we just, we want to get at least Europa League. So, try and win this game. Honestly... I don't think I even want to sneak in for Champions League coming fourth. Because we're being realistic a competition. We want to win something so we can, you know, finalize this rebuild. And we're setting it up. Yeah, we're setting it up really well. Or, I mean, we've set up the team to have... I mean, I don't know. Some part of me is no at the same time. Again, towards the end of the video, we'll talk about finances. But we've got, we've got important matches to win here. Ah, uh, Zaha couldn't finish, but they got a corner, and that goes out. 
That was... Okay, look at the bottom. I don't even know which teams were relevant. <laughs> okay, we just want to win our game. Maybe we'll, we'll analyze things at half time. But yeah, we need to focus on being in a winning position. All right. You can go over the custom. Who cares about the formations? League table. Okay, we're currently in shit. Like, who, yeah, who's relevant? Norwich, kind of, but I'm, I, I like seeing teams ahead of us. Arsenal and Tottenham. Man United got a red card. That doesn't matter. Man United don't matter. Brighton. Whoa. Arsenal. Arsenal is beating Norwich. So, okay. See? Man, I don't even... See, that's what I mean. This is starting to get rejected. We got to... Uh, getting distracted. That's the word. Um, not happy. Not happy. We're getting... We've got to focus on winning the game. Come on, guys. Eze, Milivojevic. Okay. We lose. That's not good. Hmm. Could they have done better with that? No, I'm, I'm just... The way I'm reading this game... Take a lead. Who knows where that can take us? Jovic. Yes, beautiful play. Miranda, pass. Brilliant. See, that should be a goal. Like, that, that was a nice... Like, come on. <laughs> Got three po well, to be, two more points. We won't move position. Yeah? We go to 68 points. So it might not matter anyway. But you don't know what results are going to change. No. But I'd take sixth. Again, paused. Chances created. But I have this weird feeling because we're not looking great today. We're not looking great today and a goal's coming. And a goal is coming. It's always at, yeah, end of the season. We start to feel tired. Hmm. But we're looking lackluster. That's for sure. Okay, how are we looking here? We're, but you can... T Richarlison. Jovic. Yeah, yellow card and 6.4 rating. Richarlison time. And push cook up. Yeah, and we just... Vaz playmaker. Did I say Cook? Smith Rowe. Oh, I thought Cook initially. And then I went with Smith Rowe. Yeah. But both. Okay, yeah. This is better. Deep line playmaker sport. I know you got deep line playmaker advanced. Okay. I'm just going to do a attacking mid roll just to <laughs> not annoy a portion. The, the playing two playmakers. Nah. Or just the fact that it wouldn't be as effective. I'm told. <laughs> Attacking. Ooh, yeah, let's up the tempo. And that's all we do for now. Hmm. See, even with that, even if we lose, you're not going to see Norwich take our spot. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no. But we could... Now we could take Tottenham because Leeds are beat. It's a bit disappointing. Now Chelsea's going up. Oh, my God. At least get one goal back. We get a point. Could it be important? Oh, the ref's going to flag. He wants to get involved in the last moment. Or is it going to count? Please count. Please count. Please count. Yeah, see, now I know it counts. It's going to count because it's showing it like this. It didn't say no. Which, yeah, that's why my reaction was. Like, he, oh my gosh. I know, every goal got to get checked. No, 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 because Chelsea's... J j j Chelsea's 1-1. One, one. Chelsea get a winner and they take our spot. Do we just play it out and not risk con us conceding a goal? Let's just play it out. No, uh, Man United, that is. No, we could concede. 
The final moments. Oh my gosh. See, this is a final day you love to see as a neutral. It's not always like this, is it? Like, it's. let me know. For, I know there's some Everton fans. Shout out to Everton fans. Uh, but from a neutral perspective, or even some of you guys just want to see me do well, but from a neutral perspective, it's so intriguing. You love final days like this, just not when it's your team. The nerves. No. No, I don't even know who this Muritan... Oh, who knows? I'm just looking at to see no Chelsea. Okay, right now we're two point. Yeah, there's so much information. We're taking... Yeah, it's just finish. I just finished. We take sick. We take Europa League. We take... <laughs> Far out. I didn't expect it to be that intense. Golly gosh. Not happy with the performance. Uh, it's, as I said, long season. What are we going to do against Man City in the FA Cup final next? So, yeah, we ended up two points clear at Chelsea. And Chelsea's result was a draw. Okay. Because we had a moment there feeling if Watford took the lead and we lose getting one point, Chelsea was going to yeah, take a spot if they got a winner. Whew. Norwich, I say Norwich choked, but as like, as Norwich, you expect to lose that, and the red card didn't matter. That was after all the damage. So, in a way, you see it as them choking, but they had to get a result. Well, a draw would have been enough. They should have went all out. But, yeah, you, you see, that's what I mean. There was multiple teams that could have moved here. So, yeah, if we got a win here, we would have, we wouldn't have moved. And Arsenal and Tottenham got wins themselves. So, yeah, we would have never, yeah, got that fourth. Oh, unless they dropped points, of course, and we won our game. But, yeah, I'm, I'm happy getting Europa League. That's for sure. Almost better than Champions League because it gives us a realistic chance to go for it next season. It depends where our money, uh, where our money lands. And I feel we're, it's mixed. I feel we just had a good season for our quality, like our team. Because we had a media prediction of 10th. I feel we overachieved a little bit. I look at our team. We're not strong enough. You might say even there's weaknesses. When we had some injuries, um, yeah, we had to upgrade some youth players. Did every so often. But you got to see where we're at. Sign some more play with. Look, 50 million in the budget. Obviously, some is added for like next season. But we had a, remember, we had a decent amount. Okay. We've had an influx here. Look, income. We're not getting 30. Okay. Let's go income. We're not getting this every single month. As nice it would be to get the Premier League prize, we get our Prem prize money. So we get a decent league position prize money, yeah? Like just under 29 mil there, so not bad. We'd love, we'd love that profit each month, which is simply not the case. If we're not getting anything more, we, we, I'm sure we're going to get an influx, like at the start of the new season, into the balance. I hope so, because right as of now, I'm not... I'm not spending any any more than ten million. It's a tough position to be in, man. Because we need we we're, we're gonna need breathing space. You know what happened this season? We went from twenty six, and you saw how much we were in the red. We lost maybe. Okay, I hate that because that doesn't give us the loss for the season. <laughs> that doesn't give us the loss because we just got a, that influx. But yeah, what we had before that, yeah, prem prize money. Just shows you how much of a decline from 26 mil. So there we go. That's pretty healthy. And yeah, we get a Europa League qualification. Hold up. No, wait, that says Europa League, yeah? The border delay the team qualify for the UEFA Europa League. You better put a not in this UC2. No, I see dead people. UC2. <laughs> uh, no, we're not in the Conference League. That's wrong. You can't do that. <laughs> uh, abide by the league rules. Sixth, UEFA. It, it says it depends on the winner of the FA Cup. So I think the game is just in a bit of a confusing state because the FA Cup is not played out yet. So let's get through that. <laughs> uh, but Man City, oh, do they have any injuries? Like, is there going to be a slight hope? Let's see. Barely. Strong, we're, 
don't know what to do to beat them. But that's really huge. Tino Livramento. Yeah, we, we're going to review like our best players for the season. Well, he's not just ours. He's the English player's young player of the year. So that's huge for Tino. A great player for us going forward and you know, maybe give us a hope to actually compete in the uh, Europa League next season. Uh, be one of those... Yeah, one of those for us. Real leader, which what he he was at this season, at 21 years of age, which he turned in December, is incredible. Great leadership qualities he shows. And again, that value, 72 to 80 million, we signed him on that 26 and a half when Southampton got relegated. Those relegation release clauses. And that was at that point, you know, money-wise, financially, we've struggled and you, you hesitate. When we're going through situations like this, you hesitate splashing that much on one player, but when it's a certain quality and he's a guy that's going to be improving, yeah, you you don't want to miss that. Oh, Balut. I mean, might as well give him an injection. Last game of the season. And he's going to be on the bench anyways. All right, here we are. This is a chance to get a major. I mean, FA Cup will be big for Everton. But, yeah, it's Man City. So, Lance come back in here. And I feel much better. Look at all these connections. I feel a bit more confident like this. You know, it's you bring in Alan, and you make one change, kind of, and it moves around another couple players, and it just looks a bit more stronger for us. The team looks stronger. Connections look stronger. And there's not too much else to say. We're going to get right in with this team. Let's go. Just the way the tactic, yeah, how that looked, like with that, yeah, the connections, you, you just feel more confident, but you, then you realize, oh, they're using Gavin, Bazunu, Singo, but then all those other stars. It's, it's <laughs> that's a good team. It's a good team. It's exact revenge against them, trying to be, yeah, pretty motivating there. And we just, we need, yeah, not the greatest form. See how City's lining up as well. Yeah, unbeaten recently. Yeah, Singo, okay. I think they're just... <laughs> like, how confident would I be if I had those players? You know what I mean? So, we just need to be... Except oh, we don't need this anymore. Formations. And then overview. We can go back to this screen. But anyway. Like... Hmm... Are they going to slip up, you know? Like, are they going to give us, like, a slight look in? Are they, or are they just going to be... Are they going to be on? Are they going to be... No. Mepham, what was that? That wasn't a good sign. Didn't fill me with defensive confidence. I'm glad it wasn't just killed off early. Not killed off. Because 1-0 wouldn't be, but confidence drops when you're having to come back against Man City and they look in, they look in control of us. Foden. Singo's already on a yellow. I feel a goal is it's just... You can tell from the gameplay. They just feel do, do stronger, dominant, I was going to say. You know... It just, that was coming. Show the replay. Sure, but... You kind of felt that coming. That didn't feel wrong. Oh, it came off Pickford right to them, but, like, that doesn't, it doesn't feel like we're hard done by. Like, that doesn't feel like that wasn't supposed to happen. Like, yeah, you wouldn't be surprised. I think they're just going to be too strong for us here. And it's a corner... It's a bit disappointing for the competitiveness of the game. Yeah, just for because we're not really doing anything. We can just try and high tempo. But yeah, it's like we're going to struggle to create anything against them. Okay, we've got possession. You know, we still want to play shorter. Hopefully we see that. Ridic How one of our star players for the season just gives up. Passed, 
it looked like he actually passed the city and not us. Like, what was he trying? So there's different things that this happens because of this, because of that, and that's why this happened. <laughs> yeah, but they're just... It's annoying. The fact that they're that, that much better, even our best players doing ridiculous things, it's, yeah, the reasons why things happen. And that is offside. Hopefully it gets given. We might have some slight hope. Checking the review, say, no, it's going to be a goal. That's what that means. Mm, oh, nah. It's, yeah, it... I hate com going all this way... Oh, and just not being able to compete on the day. They've just... They're always just going to come at us. And it's... I'm not getting... We have nothing to get excited about. We haven't done anything. So it's a bit... Yeah. It's not that exciting. Unfortunately... I'm not expecting something from this. And I'm probably not going to be surprised. <laughs> Trash. But at the same... Like, I'm not even so mad at my players. Like, I'm not raging, am I? Because I'm not surprised. What was that? That's to get the motivating reactions. <laughs> but, like... I was expecting this, though, man. To the struggle. Not being able to create at all. Hmm. Mendy. Dear, oh, Godfrey. Lucky. Lucky. We've had no... I'm annoyed because I've got nothing to get hype at, hyped about. Come on. Because we just don't look likely. Maybe give a, yeah, Jovic, Smith-Rowe's done nothing. Oh, the, you could say some other players have been worse. Uh, Smith, I'm not overthinking it, man. Fabio Vieira, bring on Edwards. Dali Ali. Hey, for Alan. Yeah, we'll go. T I go tactics when I know we need to make a change. And then we bring on Richarlison. So a couple changes. That's not what we wanted. That's not... Is the land still... We were wanting to take a land off and bring on Richarlison. I think you probably know... Yeah, you knew what I was wanting to try and do. But... Yeah, and then Dali Ali. Maybe a complete forward. And we go attacking. Let's go like this. Get stuck in now, higher line. It's just... You could say all out now. But I'm not expect Even going like this, I'm not I'm not expecting much. De Bruyne. If anything, they might expose us more defensively. Edwards. Oh. When a quarter starts for the opponent, you don't expect it to be a goal for yourself. We had to take the chance, Dali. That's it. That's an opportunity to make it 2-1. But no. Oh, maybe get berate. Last chance for anything to happen. But at the end of the day, they haven't actually killed us here. Yeah, oh, let's not speak too soon. It's 2-0 up until this point. And it's Dal... With. <laughs> Had to wait to finish that. Oh, gosh. Cook. Can we get one now? Richarlison. Find. you got to find someone. Don't... <laughs> We're so weak, though. That's what I'm just saying. City strength, because they're a certain amount better than us. Maybe. Don't speak too soon. Yeah, okay, we can speak about it. Because there are certain current ability higher than our current ability. 
we, we just feel so weak. Uh. And they get a free kick. Like, it's just how, how I'm trying to explain this. Yeah, because their team is a certain amount better, we just can't do anything. You're far out. It's frustrating to see because you make it all the way to the final and you don't, we didn't see anything. Really. A couple half chances for us late and you need to convert two half chances. Um, we didn't get any. So there was chances on the day. We have four on target. I've had games where four on target's been two goals. For sure. I can't say that's never happened. Yeah, it has. But, and they finish off anyway. Riddle, I don't know, man. This is a joke. <laughs> this is a joke. 3-0. We just haven't done anything. And this guy comes on. It's See, I knew we weren't going to win this. But, I, I, it, it was... It's a bit disappointing. I say you did yourselves... Oh, well, what do you expect me to say? I say you... You did yourself proud. Put in effort. You're unacceptable? Okay, now that helps. Nah, it's, I said along with the same things. So, yep, FM today, especially that last game and the reaction, they're, they're smart. Smart logics, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I'm sure there'll be reasons that could be given, but we qualify for Europa League. I think that, yeah, that's what I was right about. They just needed, the, ga the game needed to process <laughs> the FA Cup result. Uh, but th in the end, win or lose, we would have qualified for Europa League. So anyway, anyway, we're going to leave it there. Like, do we focus much on that? How much do we put on that? I don't know, because Man City's Man City. So much strength, and you saw that in the lack of whatever we showed there. We didn't show anything. I already explained why and why they were too strong for us, and we just couldn't break them down because they were a certain amount better than us. Uh, not just on the day, but, I mean, their player quality. Uh, yeah, we just couldn't do it. <laughs> we couldn't break them down. And... Yeah, 16 mil right now. Not bad. Hopefully that, yeah, we get a bit more. Um, and you could a tough end of the season. City twice. Yeah, Man United there. Arsenal, Liverpool in like the last couple of months. So, and you saw that in our play. Even in Crystal Palace, we looked tired and it was it was a long season. And yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. We made it to the FA Cup final. Sure, I knew we were going to face someone like Man City, Manchester United, Liverpool, and probably weren't going to win it. But we we had a good run and I'm happy with that to make the final. So uh, we'll finish up with, I think, just what the board is thinking. I hate how there's the devastated thing, but use more youth players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, B, B. Well, we're definitely not getting sacked. So next season, Europa League. Uh, let me know what we do in terms of signings. Each season's kind of been the same. I felt like maybe we've needed to sell someone who's got a lot of value in them, but we don't want to sell one of our better players. Um, have we got someone that's aging that can fall into that bracket? A land now. That's why we gave him a new contract. He's not worth anything substantial to help us. But Keane, yeah, he's wanted, so might find a move for him. Pickford, we've got to keep Pickford around. He's 30, uh, but we do have a good youngster coming through in Paul Miley. And Larin's leaving. So it just, it still looks like such a tough squad to manage right now, thinking, oh, who do we keep? And who do you think coming in? It's it's still real, real tough. But anyway, we're going to leave it there. I'll see you guys in the next season. And we're Europa League, so it's something to get excited about. It's funny, when we, we qualified for Europa well, not Europa League, champion, we qualified for Champions League in the first season, which is great for season two. And um, we, we put in great effort, but I think we always knew we weren't going to do anything substantial which I think we were substantial for the expectations, but we weren't going to win it, what I mean. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Leave your thoughts with how this is going and how it will go into next season and how we should prepare for that. I'll see you guys in the next one.